I'm going to show you a way to save you a whole lot of your fret material. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, folks. Thank you for coming back. I'm getting ready to do the frets on this uh, Hendrix-like guitar. I'm going to get you first and bring you over here and show you the frets. They're not worn very bad at all, man. Just a uh, very little bit. Y'all must really like this guitar. Either that or YouTube counted every view on that video of this guitar. But wow, it took off. Thank you guys for that. All of you. Anyways, I'm going to show you a way to save from grinding all your frets away. You don't really need to do it. I'll get you and show you the frets first. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Ain't that just the beauty of an old guitar, though? Uh, there's not much fret. I can see a little bit on that one there. A little bit there. This tiny little bit of, of fret where they're worn actually up here worse, I think. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's getting that or not. But they're not worn very bad. And I'm going to tell you how you can save yourself. There's those uh, erasers I think I told you guys about. I'm going to be trying them out on this puppy. But you can see the frets are not very bad. Okay, let me tell you how you can go, how you can save grinding so much fret away when they don't really need it that bad. They do need it, but uh, I'll just hold on, I'll show you. All right, welcome back, folks. Now, if you. Oh, I was going to knock that nut out, man. I forgot. Oh, it's loose. Cool. <laughs> That's easy enough. Uh. If you watch your frets close and catch them early, like this guy, owner of this guitar, did, then I'm going to show you how I do it, and I'm going to uh, save his frets. Like I say, the guitar don't really even need a, a fret job, but he wants them dressed up, you know, while it's here. So I'm going over them now and color them all blue. Y'all see me do this a bunch of times. And like I said before, you can't use red or green or yellow or black or any other color. won't work. It's got to be blue. <laughs> no, you can use whatever color you want. I like blue because I can see it pretty well. When you get my age, it, <laughs> it pays to help yourself be able to see as well as you can. I'll be shortening this video too so you guys don't have to sit through all this but you want to color all of, all of them blue this fret protector keeps me from coloring the uh, fretboard blue yeah man either YouTube didn't stop counting on the video on this guitar or you guys really liked it. So I want to thank you or thank you too. <laughs> all right, frets are all blue. Now I've already measured this, and uh, oddly enough, it has a ten radius. And the way I do that is measure in various places. Just put the the uh, gauge on there. Shine a light back here. Yeah, that's smart. Shine a light back here and look for light up here. And you can see there is none. And you can check it anywhere on the entire board. And you won't see any light. Of course, if I do it where there, if there's inlay, you will. See that? I don't know if the camera's getting that or not. But if you do it right over the inlay, the inlay you can see a little bit of light. So it's a 10 radius. All right? Now, here's the catch. Normally, you would level all of these frets, right? If it was war bad, that's what I would have to do. But no more than a war, I'm going to take a 10 radius block. And with those marked like that, I'm going to be able to see every fret that gets touched here. Okay? I'm just going to lightly go over it. And this is it's got very light sandpaper on it. rubbing the blue off and it's pretty much everywhere I see some wear right there on that fret pretty bad didn't see that before and right there 
you can really see it this way. Okay, this, this sandpaper is hitting every fret all the way across every fret. I don't know if the camera's probably not seeing that. I never could get it to show up right or very good. But that's what we want. Let me go over it a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. When I take the crown file to these, I'm going to put a crown on there. And uh, that will we still maintain the radius. That way I'll show you how I do that. Welcome back. I ended up putting some heavier paper on this block, okay, and then I crowned all of the, or uh, collared all the frets blue again, and then I went over it with that, uh, it, that's 800 grit sandpaper on there now, and I went over until it was taking every bit of the blue off, uh, you know, completely across, and it took the wear, I, there was more dents in there than I thought there were, I, the owner knew what he was talking about, uh, I couldn't see him until I put the blue on and then started rubbing it away, and I could see where the divots were, uh, still had blue on them, <laughs> you know, because it was sunk down in. Anyways, crowning file. This has got like, let me make sure I got this right. You know, I want to start with the 150. Yeah, okay, this right here is 150 grit. And when I, when I, after I use this side, I pull the thing off, turn it around, stick it on the other side, and use 300 grit. I'm going to start with this 150 and make sure I got that. Yes, I do. And we'll just start right here. You probably ain't able to see shit, are you? Okay, hold on. That might allow you to see a little bit better. By the time I do this, and, uh, boy, these files are fast, man. Super fast. They're diamond grit. I hope those erasers are pretty quick too to do this job. But see, there's no need on this guitar to level all the frets. No more wear than that is. I'm going to take what wear is left I took out with the uh, radius block and I'm going to get the rest of it with these, these uh, crown files. Amazing. Amazing. That's how fast these files are. I don't take the board up like some of these guys. I see them, wow. I call it mummifying the board. I used to do that. I don't do it anymore. I need to. This is pretty soft fret wire, I'm finding out. I mean, these files dig in pretty good, but it's soft, man. Very soft. So I, I got to go all the way down with the 150 grit. I'm gonna, like I said, I showed you. I'm gonna flop it over and then collar them again and go all the way down with the 300 grit. And then we'll start breaking these new erasers in. So stay tuned for that. All right, I saved you the misery of all the crowning. Uh, you color them blue. You can watch my old videos to see how I do it. Color the frets blue, then take the crowning file and go over them, and leave a very minute, thin blue line across the very top of your uh, crown. Do it on every fret. That way, we keep our radius and uh, flatness. Now, I went through both of those. Now, I'm going to use switch to these I told you all about these Eric thank you again man all I'm doing is putting the fretboard protector over so I don't grind the the, uh, the guitar oh wow man that's cutting in I mean that's really cutting it just so I don't get on the fretboard and, and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like uh, first four or five frets and go through all of these I mean I got there's a they're all different collars, and they got marked on them what they are. This is 220 grit. They got a 400 grit, 800 grit, 1200, and it goes from 1200 to 2000. I wish there was a 1500 in there. Anyway, it was from 1200 to 2000, to 4000, and then finally 8000. 
So I'm going to go at, through every one of those, work my way up, and I'm going to come down here to the fourth or fifth fret and stop right there, and that'll get you and show you the difference in the frets that are finished compared to the ones that uh, still got to do this to. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me have this. I'm going to go with that just a little bit more. Then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Hold on. Well, I found out I don't even have to use a fretboard protector. When you shove down on, on these erasers, they kind of hug down over. I kind of go from one side to the other a little bit. Uh, but when you shove down on them, you know, the, the, the fret goes up in the eraser and uh, it kind of hugs around the fret. Of course, you can do what I'm showing you right here. Kind of go to the side a little bit, each side. It, this is looking amazing, man. I'm already up to 4,000 grit. But I wanted to tell you all that, mention it to you. have to wipe the eraser off every now and then. Well, those rough ones I did. These not so much. Getting into the, what I say, this was 4,000 grit, yeah. And they are getting shiny. Anyways, I'll bring you back when I get uh, finished here. And uh, show you what I'm talking about. Alright, check that out. I'll try to hold the camera as still as I can. There's the first fret, second, third, fourth, fifth. And look at the difference in that fifth one in the center of your screen and, and that one in the center of your screen now. That's where I stopped at. Let me see if I can get you a shot up here. Wow, they're so blame shiny, man. You can see reflections and all kind of crap in there. There's the uh, erasers, some of them. Wow, yeah, I like those, man. There's no scratches or dents or anything in those until you get right there. That's the fifth fret. Look at that. Everything's reflecting. Wow. <laughs> and right there, now let's start back on that whenever I finish doing them. Zoom you out let you get a good look. Yeah, you can see those first five frets, man, compared to the rest of them. I got the had that on there to keep protect the magnets from uh, fret wire. You can ruin them new pickups. <laughs> wow, I could stand here and admire that all night. I like them razors, man. I dig them. I didn't know if I would or not. Yes, sir. No more sandpaper for me. Man, I get to, your hands get filthy. I didn't want to get my hand fingers dirty with using the eraser. Of course, I only did five frets, but. Let me show them to you under those lights. You can probably really see them over there. Those first five. Compared to the others. Check that out, man. Peekaboo. <laughs> I hope it's picking it up. I can sure see a huge, major difference right here where I'm standing looking at them. Unbelievable, man. Eric C., thank you again for the reminder. I've been meaning to get some of these. And uh, I was about to order sandpaper last week or sometime, uh, probably a month ago by the time you see this. And I was watching Eric C. using erasers, and I thought, I need, I need those, man. <laughs> you know? So I just bought the whole set. Like I say, it only goes, uh, let's see, there's 8,000, 4,000, 2,000, and it goes down to 12. I wish it was a 15 in there. I may have a 15 here because I had a few of those. I just never used them. I didn't think I liked them, but I do like them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. i got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to sign off and uh, get on this puppy. And uh, then we're going to get that K, and we're going to do it all again on the K guitar. Uh, the reason this one's first because it was paid for. It's paid for completely. Uh, and the K will be right after this. Probably real soon you're going to see that guitar. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Sorry you don't have you know cue ball fix tonight, but... Uh, She's coming back, I promise. Cheers.